here's the home page of your wiki. You'll notice you have an edit button up here. This will take you to the editor so you can change the information that's in the content part of the window. And I'll click edit wiki. And you just come in here and you'll notice that the editor is very similar to Word, but very, very watered down. Not a lot of tools. Bold, italicized, underline. Here's your text style. You can change the size of the headings. Numbered lists and bullets. Horizontal lines are nice to chunk information on a page. You can create links to pages within your wiki or to external links like another web page. You can upload pictures and documents under file and then double click them and they'll be inserted on the page. Widgets will cover in another tutorial. You can embed things on your pages like a Google Doc and so on. You can preview your page and when you're all done you have to make sure to save your page. So we'll make a little change here. And I'll change this text just a little bit to give you a sense of what the different tools are. You have several choices for fonts because the, the ones that they offer are common on lots of computers. I'm going to make the font a dark red color. And notice you have other things that you can do. There's an advanced tab, so you can get really specific. And then click Apply Styles when you are finished. And that's what will happen. And we'll click Save. Okay, so we've gone back to Manage the Wiki. We chose Pages, and here's the home page now. Notice when I hover over it, I could rename it, so I know that those are there. If I click the checkbox here, I can lock this page. Now when people visit my wiki, they can view the page, but they won't be able to edit it. If I want to add a new page to my wiki, I click New Page and I need to give that page a name. You don't have to do tags. Tags help when you're searching your wiki for something specific. If you put tags, what the content is about, and separate them by commas, that can help your visitors to find things much more quickly. But you don't have to. You can leave that blank and click Create. And here we are at our practice page. It's unlocked because there's no little padlock, but I can edit. And then I can save it. And notice when I add pages, they wind up in my navigation. My practice page has a star. My home page has a star and a lock. This lock means that visitors who are not invited to collaborate will not be able to edit this page of my wiki. But they could edit my practice page. There is no padlock. So I can have anyone come here without having to log in, click that edit, and then they'd be able to edit this page. Remember, I can go to Manage Wiki, click Pages, and I can click next to Practice to select it. And I could lock that page if I want to, but if I'm using it with students, this would be a good way to set up a page for them to use. But if they're young kids and they can't have their own Wikispaces account, I could have it unlocked while we're in the computer lab 
and they could access it without having to log in so they could edit. And then when class is done, I can come in and block it. And then they would not be able to access it without me there to supervise. So that's one way to keep track of that. And that's it. We'll do more in other tutorials, so stay tuned.